Hi, I'm Erica Herschler, Kroll Senior Curator of American Paintings at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. As part of our June in Bloom celebration, I thought it would be fitting to share a moment together with one of the most beloved depictions of roses in our collection, Georgia O'Keeffe's White Rose with Larkspur No. 2. O'Keeffe is best known for her close-up images of flowers, and among her earliest is a series of five paintings of roses that she made in 1927 in Lake George, New York. Two of those canvases feature a large white rose and branches of larkspur, the common name for many varieties of delphinium. The MFA's painting is softer and more abstract than white rose with larkspur number one, which remains in a private collection. Here in our painting, the delicate petals of the rose are carefully delineated by small, feathery strokes that blend almost invisibly from one to the next. White is never simply white, but is shaded by subtle tones of gray, yellow, blue, and green, each soft brush stroke communicating the velvety texture of rose petals. White roses were said to have arisen from the droplets of sea foam that surrounded the birth of Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and beauty. The white blossoms became associated with innocence and femininity and would often appear in images of the Virgin Mary. In the 20th century, roses were everywhere, in new hybrid varieties and colors, from the Rose Bowl in California to the bread and roses cries of suffrage leaders and labor activists, to Gertrude Stein's famous sentence, first published in 1922, a rose is a rose is a rose. The poetic concentration of Stein's quote, the way it doubles down and in on itself, reminds me of O'Keeffe's white rose. As the artist later said herself, when you take a flower in your hand and really look at it, it's your world for the moment. I want to give that world to someone else. O'Keeffe's floral gift isn't just the image she created, it's the fact that she herself chose this painting for the MFA. In 1980, the museum owned only one small canvas by O'Keeffe, and our curator at the time, Ted Stebbins, went to visit the artist in New Mexico with a purchase in mind. O'Keeffe brought White Rose with Larkspur out of her own bedroom and declared that it would be the painting for Boston. What a gift to us all, this beautiful, delicate white rose that never fades. <laughs>